what's up kingdom kids it's your girl yada and i'm here with a word from our good father yes your father has sent me with another word y'all i don't know who this is for but i come through to bless the kingdom okay listen if you're new here hi welcome 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 we welcome you to be a part of this family all right so don't leave without hitting that subscribe button that way you never miss a video okay and if this message blesses you in any way feel free to hit the like button and if the holy spirit will lead you to don't leave without comment or sharing the video all right definitely want to share the video guys we want to make sure this reaches whomever the lord intends for it to reach amen listen y'all i've already welcomed the holy spirit in and prayed the lord and father god i still ask that you use me god i am your vessel holy spirit fill me up and speak to your children in the mighty name of jesus amen 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 all right y'all listen i don't know who needs this but god said somebody needs this message so i pray that it reaches you god gave this to me while watching a news report um like two days ago or yesterday i believe it was yesterday okay it was a news report from florida right <laughs> listen i don't know who this is for get this back before god in prayer but this is gonna bless somebody okay somebody needs this word y'all so y'all when, when god gave me this i was watching this news report it was about a young lady she was in the gym you may have seen it right because it's been popular going around just urging people to know how you know how to take care how to protect themselves right and urging you how to protect yourself um but she was in the gym in her apartment all right and then this guy came by he couldn't get in the gym and she let him in because she was like i had seen him around apartments before i have seen him in a gym before so she let him in but she went back to working out and baby like a few minutes later he just started walking towards her y'all it's just hard at him locked in this gym okay so he started walking towards her and immediately she just started pushing him like what are you doing and she was like he never said anything so as he's still coming towards her she started at moving she starts moving and getting around equipment you know making space between them and he chased her all around the gym and then at some point he gets her on the ground listen he puts her on the ground and baby she flips him and, and she flips him into a headlock and just start punching him and she said to the news reporter she said um she said i knew in my mind i knew in my mind i was stronger than him listen to me she said i knew in my mind i was stronger than him and god said that's how i need my children to be listen to me god said i need my children to be like that yada listen this girl did not give up when he put her on the ground she started fighting harder she started punching him and she put him in the head like baby she punched him so many times so quick listen to me he let her go come on now he let her go she punched him till he let her go and God is saying that's how we gotta be with the devil come on now he said that's how you gotta be with Satan baby you gotta punch himself he lets you go you can never feel defeated come on now he said you can never give up God said I need my children to walk around knowing he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world do you know that he say i know you may think that come on now but he needs you to know that god say i need you to know this to this young lady say i knew i knew i was stronger this and this made her fight from a different place come on now she say i am not a victim come on now i am not a victim and god is saying that's how i need you to be he say i need you to know not just think that what is in you is greater he who is in you is greater i need you to know therefore when challenge come your way when life start life and come on now when the, the, the when the when life put the pressure on you come on now you will you will respond differently come on now you will react differently amen when you come from a place of victory you react and you fight differently and God is saying right now guys he says you gotta tell my children in this season I'm gonna need them to stand on business listen to me i don't know who you are or where you are but god say in this season baby he said when life start life in, and that pressure come he said i don't need you come god please take this away god please he say i am with you come on now he said i am with you i ordain that thing to come he said i'm not gonna take it away just know i'm gonna see you through it i need you to stand on what you're talking about you walking around reciting scripture come on now he who is in me is greater than he who is in the world act like you know that come on now act like you know that god say you're gonna have to stand on that come on now somebody say stand on that come on now say stand on that come on now don't just say he is in you is greater act like you know he's greater stand on that 
It's easy to say it when ain't no pressure on you. It's easy to say it when it ain't life ain't lifing. But when the pressure hit, come on now. Can you stand on that thing? Can you stand on that thing? Come on now. God say, can you stand on that thing? Listen, you fight different. You fight different. Listen, he said you got to know that you have already won. Come on now. God said you got to know that you have already won. You got to fight like the victor. Come on now. You got to fight like the victor. For the word tells us, whatever the man thinking in his mind, come on, whatever you think in your heart, so you are is he, so are you. Come on now. If you think you're a victim, you will be a victim. Come on now. When you feel like, oh, I can't get this, through this. I can't get through this. God, take this away. You're going to easily give up. Come on now. You're not going to be working your mind to think about ways. Come on now to get through it and God is saying right now he said I ain't trying to take it away baby I'm trying to help you get through this thing do you hear me he said so I need you to stand on knowing that he who is in you that means no matter who is in the world come on now no matter he who he is who she is that you are greater you are greater he who is in you is greater than whoever it is come on now whatever come up against you do you know that come on now do you know that without a doubt in your mind well stand on that Stand on that. Come on now, listen to me. You're going to have to stand on that, baby. That man had to got her on the ground. Do you hear me? She could have been like, oh, he a man. And this, that, and the third, waiting to tell her story. She said, oh, no, I'm about to punch him till he turn me loose. Come on now. She said, oh, no, I, I will. I, listen, I, I'm about to punch him till he turn me loose. I am not a victim. Come on now. I am a victor. Come on now. Somebody say, I am not a victim. I am a victor. Come on now. I don't know who you are, but somebody type that out. Say, I am not a victim. I am a victor. Come on now, you already know it is already won. Come on now, the victory has already been won, family. We just trying to figure out how we go in it. Come on now, when you go through battles, do you hear me? Let me say, when you go through battles in life, listen, as a child of God, come on now, God is with you. Come on now, he said you have already won the battle. When you look at it, look at things through a lens of saying I've already won, you know that you've already won. Do you know you just going through battles to see how you won? Come on now, you just going to let the winning be revealed to you. Okay? So God is saying right now, guys, as we get ready for this next season, come on now, God say, baby, I need you to stand on business. I don't need you to just be ready to, to get, uh, uh, cower down from adversity, okay? He said when the pressure comes, I need you to be ready to get through that thing. You got to be like, I'm going to get through this by any means necessary. I got to get through it. Come on now. As long as I got breath in my body, I'm going to get through this. Come on now. As long as God put breath in my body, that must mean he think I could get through this thing. Okay. And I'm telling you, that's what God is saying. He said, as long as he put breath in your body, that must mean he think he believe you can get through this thing. Do you believe that? Come on now. What do you think about yourself? Do you believe that you can get through it? You're going to have to believe you can get through this pressure, baby. Do you hear me? That lady said, I knew. Come on now. She said, I knew I was stronger than him. They was like, well, why didn't you stop fighting? She was like, because in my mind, listen to me. She said, in my mind. Come on now. She said, in my mind. That's why it start with your mind first. He, he said, in my mind, I knew I was stronger. In your mind, in your mind, you're going to have to know that you're greater. In your mind, you're going to have to know that you're greater. Okay? All right, y'all. Listen, I don't know who needed that, but God said somebody need that reminder, baby. He said, because when life start lifing, he wants you to stand on that he who is in you is greater. Know that you have the power to get through whatever you are faced with. Do you hear me, child of God? Whatever life throws at you, God has given you the power to get through it. And he is with you. Do you hear me? Your father will see you through it. All right, listen, don't be ready to be like, oh, God, <laughs> okay, be like, God, how we getting through it? How we getting through this thing? Because we it can't go away. Come on now, God say, ain't no redeals. You're going to have to play the hand you was dealt. Thank you, Lord. He said, you got to play the hand you was dealt. So many of y'all waiting to, to uh, throw your hand back in. God say, not in this game of life. You can't throw the hand in. Come on now, it ain't no redeals. Play the hand you was dealt. Okay, play the hand you was dealt and stand on business. Come on now, stand on the word you say. You say he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Act like you know that. All right, come on now. Next time life start lifing, when life put that pressure on you, come on, you might got pressure on you right now. Some of y'all got pressure on you right now. God say, act like you know who is he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. You can get through whatever you're going through. You have the power of the living God inside of you. Do you hear me? There's the power of the living God inside of you. 
You got to believe that. Come on now. You got to believe that. You got to know that. Come on now. I could tell it to you all day long, but you got to know that. You got to say in my mind. Come on now. In my mind, I know I am stronger than him. Come on now. In my mind, I know I am greater than them. Come on now. In my mind, I know I can take care of this. Come on now. In my mind, I know I can get through this. Whatever it is for you, say in my mind. If you know it in your mind, it's saying, I know without a doubt. Come on now. I know without a doubt I can get through this. In Jesus' name, listen, I don't know who needed this, but God said somebody needs this word. So I pray that it reaches you, and I pray that it encourages you. I pray that it, it comforts you and blesses you, okay? I pray that it strengthens you. In Jesus' name, listen, y'all, I thank y'all so much for the love, okay? The comments, the new subscribers, the new followers. Hi, y'all. Listen, the shares. What's up, y'all? I thank y'all so much, okay? I truly, truly thank you. I thank you for the seeds, the donations. Thank y'all for giving into the vision that God has for this ministry, okay, for what God is going to do through this family. I thank y'all so much, and I pray that he will open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you don't have room enough to receive, amen? All right, y'all, listen, go out and live a blessed life, family. You know the blessed life comes from first being a blessing.